Welcome to Paper Crafting with Rebecca. I'm Rebecca. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you've never been here before, you'll find that my YouTube channel focuses on paper crafting, whether it be card making, scrapbooking, art journals, all sorts of things like that. Today I'm going to do a haul video. I like to do those every once in a while so you can see what's out there. Plus it gives us a chance to talk about what to do with some of the supplies you find. What's unique about this haul video is that it's a haul from a place that you wouldn't necessarily expect to find paper crafting supplies. And I have made a video in the past, which I will link below, about looking for crafting supplies in those places that you don't expect to find them. So this haul video is from a uh, book fair. And where I live in Stanton, Virginia, up the road a little bit on the way to Harrisonburg, there's a big uh, building that's called the Green Valley Book Fair. And my husband and I love to go there because they have so many wonderful books at such great prices. But today when we went, I found kind of tucked in the corner some crafting supplies. And interestingly, I always go to that corner because that's where they have a lot of times scrapbook idea books or card making idea books but they actually had supplies there today and I just had to share some of these supplies with you and point out that this was a book fair and it wasn't a crafting store so the first thing I want to show if I can pick, do them without dropping them all is the alcohol inks I picked up these are Tim Holtz alcohol inks I had looked on scrapbook.com for some alcohol inks because my friend Anna at Craft Me a Card and I, she just did a really great tutorial on using alcohol inks and I thought well, I need to play with those more. So I looked on scrapbook.com and when I looked, um, they had them, a three pack was $12. Well, I got them at the book fair for $2.25 for each of these three packs and it was $2.25 for the metal mixatives, which is, um, I think it'll be kind of fun. I'm not I'm not played with them or used them before. This one's called Pearl and this one's called Copper. And I think we can mix those in. So I'm going to do a video coming up playing with all of the alcohol inks and we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a lot of try out some of Anna's ideas and we'll see how it goes. So that's gonna be an upcoming video. And if you've used alcohol inks and you have any suggestions, please leave them for me in the comments below. And that way I can incorporate those into the upcoming video. I'm definitely game for learning more about alcohol inks and playing with them a little bit. Another goodie that I found at this book fair were these packs of cards and envelopes. And they're a smooth craft paper. There's 12 um, cards and 12 envelopes of the 5x7s in here. They were $1.89 for the, the whole 12 pack. So I bought two of those. That's a really great deal, I think. And then they had this paper, and I pulled a piece out so that we could talk about this. This is a pearlescent 8.5 by 11 sheet. They call it Silver Pearl. It has almost kind of a sage look to it when I look at it in person, but it is it is in the silver family. Thing is, is that they were packaged to sell individual. Each of the sheets has one of the little peel off um, individual sale labels on it, but I got all 25 sheets in the pack for $1.75. So it was $1.75 for 25 sheets. So that's a very affordable paper crafting goodie. And then they also had it in gold. I bought two packs of the gold because, again, they had planned on selling them individual, I think, when they were made. Um, but I got 25 sheets of 8.5 by 11 in each package for $1.75. So, and it's nice, heavy cardstock. I'm really excited to play with those. So I thought that was a fun deal. Also at the book fair, they had, let me pull all of them over here, embossing folders. And they had just a box of this. It was just, I went through, I found, <coughs> excuse me, all sorts of wonderful embossing folders. And they have, here, let me flip this up so you can see. I'm just going to flip through them really quick. Each of the embossing folders was $1.89. That's a fantastic price for embossing folders. So again, the book fair, I just couldn't believe it. But here's this one. 
This one is like dandelions floating off in the breeze. This one is a um, kind of rainbow cloud feel. I think this one will be a lot of pretty, um, a, a fun idea to do with this embossing folder. I'm going to try it with taking um, a piece of cardstock and doing ink blending in a lot of different colors, just kind of all blended into a pretty pattern and then running it through the embossing folder. I think that will really set that off pretty. This one is a frame embossing folder. So that you can put something there in the middle. This one. This is a tree, and you know you can always use trees in the background. A very lacy looking one. I thought this would be fun for summer with a citrus feel. I bought some really cute, um, look like little stained glass window um, sort of uh, stickers of, with a citrus theme from Dollar Tree. And I think I'll combine this with those stickers and I'm going to have a fun card coming up. So I'll, you know, watch ahead um, and you'll see that come up down the road here on my YouTube channel. And this one is a frame. It doesn't show the back, but it's just a really pretty frame embossing folders. They had lots more. They had cactus and they had all sorts of others, but I made myself stop with this many. $1.89 though. Unbelievable great price. And then I bought two packs of this 12 by 12 paper. It was $1.99. There are 20 sheets of 12 by 12. They're calling this color garnet. And it's just a really pretty satiny finish with a texture to it like linen and very nice um, heavy cardstock. So I've got it in that color. I want about one package of the uh, Royal Blue. Again, it's um, $1.99 for the 20 sheets and just nice linen feel to it. I bought two packs of this one because it's $1.99 for 20 sheets and it's called Stiletto and it's just got this really pretty soft uh, shimmer glitter to it and it doesn't rub off. It's, it's well done in the paper and it's just so beautiful. I bought one pack of this it was um, called window pane, and it's 20 sheets, 12 by 12. It's got like a white linen-y look on the front, and it's solid black on the back. And then I peeled the sticker off. I wanted to see if it would come off easy, and it did. It does leave kind of a shadow, so I'm not sure I could use the back side without cutting that corner or covering that. But again, you know, the price, I mean, for... Um, for $1.99 for the uh, whole pack of 20 sheets, that's just a really good price. Now let me move this because I want to show you one more thing. That I, oh no, wait, I've got a couple more things. I got some beads they had at the book fair. The book fair! They had beads for $1.19. And the reason I got the different beads that I bought, and they were each only $1.19, these are silver beads. These are some little like seed beads um, that are just check glass beads. Uh, these are silver and these are glass. Um, and then I bought this. This was $1.19 also for all these beads. And the reason I like getting these is for shaker cards, especially, you know, it's like the um, ball in a spray can of paint. It helps, you know, mix things up. Well, if you drop one or two of these kind of heavier sort of like silver beads in your shaker card window, it helps keep the sequins moving and the little things moving. It adds a little bit of shine. It adds a little bit different in the sound. You know, you can hear it when you shake. It's just, I like throwing, and it doesn't take a lot, just one or two to just help keep things moving in there. So that's what I got the beads for. Okay, one more thing. And that is, this, is this. I don't normally buy scrapbook kits because I'm a scrapbooker. I just like to do them from the beginning to the end. However, this scrapbook kit right here um, is a Jingle Joy Holiday scrapbook kit. And it was only $5.99. I can't buy an album for $5.99. This is a post-bound album. And... I was just flabbergasted at the price. Um, it has some Christmas stickers, some journaling stickers, but look at the beautiful pages that it has. 
as far as the quality of what's on the pages. Let me pull this out so that we can see it a little bit better. These are put on with foam tape, so they're raised up a little bit. They're um, embossed with a glitter. They're just, they're just beautiful. And even though I will probably, for my photos, I will probably go ahead and mat them, you know, to add some more dimension and, and whatnot. And I may do some embossing and, and I may, instead of putting a photo there, I may put a sentiment or something. I don't know yet, but I, these pages are just, um, I think really beautiful. And I love the quality of these, all the little embellishments. I mean, on the front, I don't know if you noticed on the front, let me stick this back in here so that you can see the, see it put together here. Okay, on the front, these are really heavy chipboard um, on the front. So the quality is just really nice. And, you know, even if I switch it up a little bit, you know, by adding my own embellishments to it, starting out as a $5.99 investment is not bad. Plus, the other nice thing that this does for me is it gives me some layout ideas. I mean, this is a Christmas album, but I could use the same layout pattern if I wanted to and make a Halloween album, you know, just making it for myself. But it just gives me some neat layout ideas. You know, these... Uh, Christmas balls. Every other one of them is raised up on foam tape out of a nice heavy cardstock, things like that. So I was just very impressed, as you can tell. And I, you couldn't beat the price. They only had three of them, and I grabbed one of them up. So now there's only two left. If there's any Virginia people watching my channel that are in the area, you'll want to get over and grab them. Um, but I just thought this was a lot of fun. High quality, good layout design ideas. For double page layouts and all of it i only paid 5.99 so once again look in places that you aren't expecting to find craft supplies because sometimes the craft supplies you find are amazing so thank you for watching please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and watch for some videos coming up with me using all this fun stuff i i picked up happy paper crafting